In this example, we will create a drawing rule for presenting text attributes as annotation for, in this case, a LanXML import. So this is an import already made here. Click one of these points. This is imported as the feature terrestrial elevation point. And now we will make a drawing rule to present one of these attributes, for instance, here, the Z value in the presentation here. So first go to presentations and presentation rules. Here you click new. And you give your presentation rule or drawing rule a name. So for instance, set elevation. Under type, you select presentation rule. You can also set add base notes, meaning that you will have a WMS, orthophoto, and some of other default notes. Projections, you can set either all, plan 3D or sections, but let's make this for all projections, meaning that you can both uh, view this when opening in a 3D window, plan window, and the section windows. One last important thing, you need to click add from active model because this insert a feature catalog and when you select conditions for the drawing rule, you will then see which features and attributes you can select from based on the feature catalog. You can click description if you want or just click OK. So now click all objects and new node and insert a name here. For instance, just a feature type. So terrestrial elevation point. And the name here, that is the name you will see in this presentation setup uh, window. Now you need to add a condition and also a render handlers. So the condition, it's something uh, from what you see here. For instance, you can uh, make a condition based on the feature type. So add feature type condition. And then you need to browse for terrestrial elevation point. So terrestrial elevation point. And now also a render handler for point. So add and point and a render handler for text. So we will both draw out the terrestrial elevation point as a point, but also as a text. So first for point here, you can of course select the color, the point size, etc. But for text, you first need to click use text attributes and then under text attribute, just click here. You need to select which text are to be drawn out. And since this example is for the Z value, this is found under the spatial attribute. So everything under this geometry in the properties is a spatial attribute. So click add. Now we click this and the value type. So in this case, we use Z, but of course you can draw out the X, Y or whatever other here. So click OK. And lastly, the spatial attributes to use info. This is an important one because here you set where the text is to be placed. So if you click here, you see you want it placed on terrestrial elevation position, meaning this is the same thing here. So it will be placed as an insertion point with this X, Y, Z for each point. And all the rest here we can wait with editing because they can be edited from the presentation setup a little later. Let's now go to save and save this. 
and now just uh, reopen uh, this import and view in plan. And you can now from here select this drawing rule you just made. So if you click, uh, for instance, this one, you see it's 140.759, which is exactly this. So now you can, in the presentation setup, here both edit the point if you want. For instance, a bigger point size. Let's try with 10. And also the text. So both the font size, we can make it half the size. Things like rotation, text alignment, for instance. If you want right top. And this means when it says right top, that means that the point is right top for the text.